from Kriwi Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Autism Training Facility, the Colliery Training College, has seen a significant number of students registering for trade and mining qualifications. Nadine James tells us more. Registration for the various qualifications offered by the CTC started on September 18th, with classes beginning in earnest on September 20th. CTC MD Johan Fenter explains how and why the institution was established. CTC, um, the Colliery Training College, was established in 1964. Initially, it was started by the Chamber of Mines as a Chamber of Mines um, venture. Mm -hmm. Later, the Chamber of Mines handed ownership and control of CTC over to some of the coal miners in this area, the coal mining houses in this area. So our principal shareholders at the moment are um, Anglo-American Thermal Coal, um, Exaro, Glencore, Izimbiwa, South 32 and Kangra Coal. Um, but we, we also service many other employers, um, especially, especially guys like Columbus, uh, the ESCOMs, and any industrial enterprise that need artisan training, we service them. In addition to the, to the artisan training that we do, we also train miners and mineral processing operators um, for, for our customers. Fenty explains that training typically takes 27 months, with trainees spending 9 months on the CTC premises. The remaining 18 months consisting of on-the-job training. Upon completion, trainees are able to take the relevant trade test. He adds that while CTC consistently produces skilled artisans, this has not necessarily addressed the country's so-called skills deficit. On the one hand, um, we've, we've seen a drain of skills out of workplaces, and on the other hand, we've seen large numbers of artisans qualifying from training centres um, such as CTC. But qualifying from a training centre such as CTC is one thing, but gaining skills from an experienced and skilled old, old hand in a workplace is, an, is another matter. So without skilled artisans in workplaces, the, um, the, the kinds of skills that we turn out here is not going to work. We need skilled artisans in workplaces to transfer their knowledge to the newer generation. Fenter says that although the number of students has remained high year on year, the depressed economy has had an impact on student intake over the last two years. There's a direct correlation. As employment numbers um, in those industries that you mentioned, as it declines, the student numbers that we receive from those employers also decline. So it, it goes up and down. As the, as the economy improves, so our student numbers improve. And as the economy decreases, so our student, student numbers decrease. Unfortunately, we've seen a bit of a decrease over the last year or two, so um, we hope that will turn around and as employment improves in the industry and, uh, and as the economy improves in general, our numbers will go up again. That's Cream Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.